Now for any class of animals in this table, they can either be threatened with extinction or not. So to figure out the total probability of a randomly chosen species being a bird, we need to add up the probability of the bird not being threatened with extinction and being threatened with extinction. So we get the probability the randomly selected species as a bird is 0.389. To determine if being an amphibian and being threatened are independent events, we have to check two equations. So first, we need to check that the probability of being an amphibian, given you're threatened with extinction, equals the probability of being an amphibian. If this equation is true, it means that if you know a species is threatened with extinction, it doesn't give you any additional predictability about whether it's an amphibian or not. So in other words, being threatened with extinction is independent of whether it's an amphibian or not. We also have to check it the other way. We have to check that the probability that a species is threatened, given it's an amphibian, is the same as the probability of the species being threatened. So if this equation is true, if you know the species is an amphibian, it doesn't tell you any additional information about whether it's threatened or not. That information is irrelevant. So being an amphibian is independent of being threatened. So the probability of being a threatened amphibian is 0 0.072. We need to divide that by all the probability associated with being threatened by extinction. So the sum of this entire column here. And the probability of being an amphibian is just the sum of being an amphibian not threatened with extinction and being an amphibian that is threatened with extinction. So the probability of being an amphibian given you're a threatened species is about 0.355. And that does not equal our total probability of being an amphibian, 0.229. So since this equation didn't hold true, we don't even need to bother checking this one. We know that being an amphibian and being threatened are not independent. So we'll say since the probability of being an amphibian, given you're threatened, is not equal to the probability of being an amphibian, the events being an amphibian and being threatened are not independent. They are in fact dependent. For part C, we want to calculate the probability that a randomly selected species from each class of animals is threatened with extinction. So in other words, what's the probability a randomly selected mammal is threatened with extinction? And what's the probability a randomly selected bird is threatened with extinction? And we want to do the same thing for reptile and amphibian as well. One way to think about this is pretend there's exactly 1,000 species. If we multiply the 1,000 by the probabilities, that would mean there's exactly 153 mammals that are not threatened with extinction, and 42 that are. And looking at part A, it would mean there's exactly 389 birds. So if we know we've randomly selected a mammal, what's the probability that that mammal is threatened with extinction? So overall, we have 42 mammals that are threatened with extinction out of a total of 153 plus 42. So that turns out to be about 21.5% of the mammals being threatened with extinction. Let's use the same approach for the other three classes of animals. Okay, so there's all the probabilities that a species is threatened with extinction given its animal class. So it looks like amphibians are in the most danger. Let's create a graph to display this data. So our vertical axis is going to be probability of threatened with extinction. And our horizontal axis is going to be animal class. So we'll have a bar for mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians. So the probability a randomly selected mammal is threatened with extinction is 0.215. That's about right here. And the probability that a randomly selected bird species is threatened with extinction is 0.131, about right here. And for reptiles, 0.203, about right here and amphibians all the way up at 0.314. And we'll add color to make our graph better. If you liked this video and you want to learn more about probability, especially if you're studying for the AP stats exam, check out this playlist. It covers many topics of probability that will help you for the exam.